So we've decided to just get out of town, drop the tires, and we're just cruising through some of the beaches, had a bit of a look on Google Earth, and found some, some ledges that look okay, and um, yeah, gonna give them a crack and see if we can get a cray possibly. We're both pretty, uh, Sheridan and I are both pretty soft with the old shark situation, so we won't be going very far off the shore at all. But yeah, you never know, and the conditions look beautiful. Just had a look at the coast at the, um, at the swell, and it's just as low as we hoped. Not much sand moving around at all, so the viz should be pretty good, <coughs> even for just off the shore. And if not, we'll uh, get the drone up and just have a bit of fun full driving through. So we're just going to go through some sand, beach, beach sandy, dune driving tips. Probably a little unorthodox. This is more for people that haven't had much four-wheel drive experience at all. Because I've watched some of the YouTube videos and it's just a bit a bit vague, some of the advice. So we'll go through a couple of scenarios and I'll just tell you how I attack it. And it's generally okay. So with beach driving for me, always have a look on Google Earth. Make sure that you can see that there's some tracks where you want to go. If there is, and you've got a V8, you generally going to be okay without checking too hard into it but sometimes the beaches do wash away on those entrants so always make sure you can get back up what you're going down yeah and make sure you don't go over the crest before you go down you know always pull up on a crest have a bit of a look ahead and then if you, if you think you're good then just commit always leave yourself a fair bit of revs if you need it i'd try and stick on about two and a half and then you know you can always if you do feel something a bit softer than you expected you can always that. Try to stay high when it's a beach that you don't really know. Sand is harder down the bottom, right near the near the water, but um, it's it is pretty risky if you don't know the beach. When you know, I tend to drive right down on the waterline quite a lot. But yeah, I haven't driven this stretch of beach in a long time, so I'm just going to be sticking up high. Seeing if people are trying to, if you can see people trying to turn around up ahead, then you know it's probably not worth going unless you uh, you really walk it and check that it's going to be okay. So just a couple more tips with the beach driving. If you see things like this ahead, if you can see that it's crossed up and people have gone this way, that way, then you just need to give it a bit more revs through it. Especially in the in the valleys, you never ever want to stop or slow down in a valley. Always give it a bit more pace. And if you do have to stop somewhere to reassess, then always do it on the crest. The tires are right down. They're at, at 15 psi. I don't have the lockers on. You can see that it's chopped up. If you can see that it's chopped up, it means people have had a hard time. So I'll just give it that little bit more revs. But just to show you that it is possible, we'll do it slowly first. So I'm going to give it a bit more revs now because I can see it's getting steeper. And that soft bit of the crest, so instead of spinning, you just back back down. When you're backing down, always make sure that you're looking in your, your rear view mirrors and keeping your wheels in those ruts. If, you, if one of your wheels comes out and you end up turning the, the wrong way, that's when you can roll a car. I mean, here is, you're in a valley anyway, so there's no real risk, but that's what you try and do as a rule of thumb. You generally want to go all the way back when you're going to go up the hill so that you're starting on the flat and you're getting good pace and you're not digging out the middle of the track but because I've got the tyres right, right down I'll just show you that I'll do the same thing with the lockers on and we'll see if we can get over that crest without making a meal of the track I mean low second I like low range in the beach a bit more revs now like we did last time Another tip is when you're coming up to the Cressa Hills that are not very well used, just take it easy. If, you, if the track's well used, you want to go slow enough that people can see you on the other side, but what you don't want to do is come over it too hot because I have had times where you'll end up, the track will actually end and everyone's actually only going up there for because they've realised it's a dead end as well and I've ended up in a bush bellied out on the other side. Metro sort of tracks, that's not really an issue, but when you start getting remote, that is. So always just creep over, let your nose tip flat again and, and put your head up and see if you can 
make sure you can see some new wheel tracks and then you're generally right to follow it back down. PSA. Do you want to be filmed? That's too crisp. <laughs> right, angry time. Focus. One thing that is always annoying to most of you guys listening, most of my 20 subscribers, I hope you feel the same way. People that leave crap around the campsite, and I'm not talking just a beer bottle, bottle caps, crap like these people have left. We've got this dog bed, righto, no worries, chewed up. Plastic, durries, eggs, plastic cups, plastic bag full of rubbish. Like you've put it in a bag. <laughs> Jesus. And then this one's really annoying. Like, it's just disgusting. It's an embarrassment. So I'm going to do the right thing and take this stuff away, but this is why we can't have nice things, right? Idiots that do stuff like this just ruin it for everyone. There'll be no beach driving, no camping on the beach. People will be finding you left, right and centre because these flogs just ruin it for us. Like, what are your thoughts on it, Sheridan? It's a disgrace. This is actually has black clothes in it. What's on here? Complete and utter disgrace. Well said. Export drinkers. Still a bit in that. A Melbourne bitter drinker would never have done this. Oh, really? Yeah, I know there's durries and stuff in here. Oh, non cage free. Oh, no. Free range. Free range. Oh, that's it. I'm back to caged eggs. <laughs> Is that a Corona? No. Yeah. Oh, it is, yes. Disgusting cat piss. One's 30th birthday balloons. Seriously. Party responsibly, people. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Day done. Ended up being quite fun and successful. We went out and found some cool tracks. Found some cool little swimming holes. Went for a bit of a dive. And we... Ended up doing quite well. Quite well on the old craze. As luck would have it, SD card corrupted. Only one piece of recoverable recoverable evidence. So I'll play that for you now. But um, craze for dinner. I've got enough to feed the community back home. <sighs> Blessed. <laughs>